only son. But if the race of Caucasian was split in half and say, well, half do, half don't. No. It would be, it would literally be 60-40. And I'm giving it a lot with 60% saying, I'm not going to beat them. And I'm not going to beat little Johnny. I'm not going to beat Johnny. And there's a 40% say, I'm going to beat the hell out of Johnny. Come here. Come here. Or they'll beat the one that they got less favoritism to. Now, this has been shown not by Kimberly Brown studies, but this has been shown through the behavior of psychology. I ne Did y'all know in psychology that they actually use people's situations? Did y'all know in actual psychology that they say this is why blacks do what they do and whites do what they do? Because y'all remember the little pieces of paper that you have a choice to... Um, you have a choice whether to file this paper or 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 number uh, do what the the paper tells you to do. You have a choice. Y'all remember the papers? You ever remember the papers, Minister Sean? You don't remember the papers on electric um, um, application? It says by choice for you to fill this out, and it be your race, it be your age. And it says by choice. They'll say by choice. Well, that's how they censoring you. That's how they're um, counting you. How many blacks is in that city? That's why you can look it up in Google and say, well, how many blacks is in uh, Florida? What is the name of Florida? And then how many whites is in Florida? And if it's been changed. Okay. Okay. You got Nehemiah. Come on. Read it. Seven. Where are you at? At nine. Okay, come on. <clears throat> but if ye turn away me and keep my commandments and do them, do their word of you cast them out unto the uttermost part of the heaven. Yet will I gather them from hence, and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are my servants, thy people, whom thou hast redeemed by the great power and by thy strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy servants who desire to fear my name and prosper. I pray thee, thy servant, this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of his man. For I was the king's cupbearer. Go ahead and read. You should be, you should be, what is your number? That's 11, that's the end of the chapter. Okay, give me two and seven. That was one, right? Yeah. Okay, give me two. Moreover, I said unto the king, if it please the king, let letters be given me to the governors beyond the river that may convey me over until I come into Judah. And a letter unto Asaph, the keeper of the king's forest, and he may give me timber to make beams for the gates of the place, you know, the palace which appertains to the house and for the wall of the city. In the house that I shall enter into, and the king granted me, according to the good hand of my good God upon me. Then I came to the governors beyond the river, and gave him the king's letters. Now the king has set captains of when Sambalat, the Horonite, and the mm -hmm. Tobiah, the servant, the Anomite heard it, and he grieved them exceedingly that there was a man to come to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. So I came to Jerusalem and was there for three days. And I arose in that night, and some few men with me. Neither I told any man what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. Neither was there any peace with me. 
take the beast that I rode upon, by the key of the, the, the dragon well, and do to the dung fort, and view the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. Then I went to the gate of the fountain and the king's pool, but there was no place for that beast that was under me to pass. Then went up to the night by the brook, and viewed the wall, and turned back, and entered the gate of the valley, and so returned. And the rulers knew not whither I went, or what I did, neither had I not yet went to towards the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did not work, did not did the work. Then said I then I said unto them, Ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem left waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, and we will be no more of a reproach. Then I told them that the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's word to me. And they said, Let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for the good work. But when Sanabat was Sanballat and the Horonite and Tobiah the servant, the Anamite and the son that Arab, the Arabian heard it, they laughed us too strong and despised us. And he said, What is this that they think? What? He said, What is this thing that ye do? Okay, now I want you to stop right there. Go to Nehemiah 4 and 6. I'm going to have you to uh, start, stop, start, stop. Go to Nehemiah 4 and 6 and read as loud as you can. So. So built me the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half of thereof, for the people had a mind to work. Come on. But it came to pass that when Sandala and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Anamites and the Ashrodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up, and the beaches began to be stopped, then they were very worthy, were very worth raw. And that means with anger. Come on. And conspired all of them together to come and to fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. Now watch this. They had conspired to fight against Jerusalem. Now, now, Jerusalem is a place. So you mean to tell me you're going to fight a place? Yeah, I'm going to fight your place. I'm not coming really to fight you. I'm coming to fight the place and where you're at. Wow. Mm. The place that you're at. Mm. I want to fight that because I want it. Mm. Mm. I really don't want your husband. I just want the authority mm. that you walk in. I really don't want your wife. I just want the authority that you walk in. Wow. I really don't want your home. I just want a place with my key. Because I remember when Jesus, now watch this, Jesus went to hell. <laughs> How in the world, Jesus? That was bad, y'all. That was that that was a strategist. You know, when I look at the Lord, the Lord is a strategist. He strategized. This is why I began to talk about Trump. And this is why I begin to say. I'm not going to be surprised if Trump win the, 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 the election. I'm not going to be surprised because God is a strategist. If I look at the way God does things, when I look at the way he does it through even his son, Jesus was a strategist. You have to begin to strategize. In these last and evil days, you got to have a plan. Because that's all about the kingdom of heaven. See, the kingdom of God is the person, the people, his power, his, his, his provision. Hear me. His people person. 
person power his provision <laughs> and his position now the kingdom of heaven is like the plan of God like the perception of God and the power of God. Now you got power over there in, 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 in the kingdom of God, but the kingdom of God power and the kingdom of heaven power is two different power. One is do is dominion and another is is dunamis. Now watch this. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. It is like you buying a brand new car. A brand new. I ain't talking about no. I'm not talking about somebody that's been in that car. Yeah, they may have been in it as test driving, but they have not owned it. You are the first owner. So in order to learn that car, you can know how to drive all day long. But you've got to learn that car. And how you learn that car, how you learn that car, how you learn that car is by the instruction book. <laughs> the instruction book would be the kingdom of heaven and the car, it would be the kingdom of God. You can't do without one or the other. Because guess what? When there's a light that come on in that brand new car and you don't have that book, you're going to call the, the dealership or you're going to call a mechanic and you're going to ask about that light. You need the instructions. Where we think we don't need it, we do. We do need it. There's some things in our life that have to be accorded. And because we don't know a why, we say, okay, we don't need it. You need, you need, because guess what? God gonna beat you. I didn't say what. That's not what I said. I said beat. If you look up the difference from whip and beat, it seems like whip is a stronger word. No, it seemed like beat is the stronger word than wit, but really it's not. You'll be surprised what it means. But for the sake of time, I'm not going into definition. You're going to have to go into definition. I'm talking about definition of something that is minute to the lesson. It's small or insignificant. It don't mean nothing. Listen, what I am going to say is the wall. You have to be beat. Your children have to be beat. Wake up, cameraman, because you're going to make my camera go zigzag when I see it. How I know? Because when you do wrong, adults, when you do wrong, God will deal with you accordingly. And then you'll get mad, and you'll then pick up a belt, and then you'll deal with your kids. You know why you mad? Because you're tired of dealing with what they're doing. But they've been doing it. But you're tired now. Because they've been aggravating you. You're tired. Excuse me, you cameraman. If you got to stand up, but you're going to wake up here. Listen. Even if you got to come to the point where you say, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. You keep on playing with me. You think I'm something to play with. They don't know you. They don't know. Look, people don't know you. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. My mama know me. My bro, my mama don't bit more know me than she can throw a piece of clay on up there. Just because you have me don't mean that you know me. Yeah. You don't even know your grown child over there. You think you know her, but you don't. Because there's some things that kids do behind our back. That one right there. That one, mine, 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 that boy cussed like a sailor. How do I know? Because he belonged to me. Does he curse all the time? No. All of my kids are, are well behaved. Even Jay, they well behaved. They, they, even the ones that aren't me, 
Even the ones that aren't me. I'm going to close in a minute. Even the ones that aren't me. You got your Jericho walls. And you got your Jerusalem walls. And you better know what you're dealing with when you wake up in the morning. You better know what you're dealing with, Minister Sean. You better know what you're dealing with, uh, uh, Sister Dorothy. You got to know, am I dealing with the Jericho walls or I'm dealing with the Jerusalem walls today? Which one? Because whichever which is one, that's what you're going to reciprocate whatever you deal with. You're going to reciprocate whichever one you deal with, uh, 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 Lance Elijah Philip Brown. You're going to know which one you reciprocate. You got to. The moment, the moment you open, close your eyes. But when you open them, watch this. The Bible said in Nehemiah 4 and 9, watch this. The Bible said, nevertheless, we made our prayer to our God and we set watch against them day and night because of them. And Judah said, the strength of the hearers are the burdens in decay and there is much rubbish. Somebody say rubbish. rubbish. So that we are not able to build the wall. I'm going to give y'all this. I'm going to leave y'all with this because I've been dealing with this. I had to go the one way, but I'm going to teach this next week if I can't teach nothing else. If God delay my coming, if God delay his coming, shall I say, I'm going to teach this. I'm going to teach it. Why? Because you need to know this. Mm -mm. There are some things that you have to build. Let me say it again. I'm going to say it through the mic. There are some things in which you have to build. There are some things in your DNA that you got to build. No matter if you want to give up. No matter if you say, I want to throw in the towel. No matter if you say, I want to look back. I want to go back. I want to go back to the bad relationship. I give him another chance and give her another chance. Uh -huh. Is love really enough for you to keep on going through the nonsense that you're going through? I'm not talking about in every relationship you're going to go through nonsense. Every relationship, you're going to go through trouble. But look at here. If I dealt with trouble for a whole year and the fact that I'm dealing with your baby mama, okay, I should be dealing with baby mama drama the second year. Okay, I can understand dealing with it because when I got with you, you got a child. But after four or five years, I should be dealing with the same hate for me, hearted I shouldn't be dealing with the same thing. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. You know what's not right? That parent talking about you when you're not around in front of that child. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't young. After four years, you haven't got divorced yet. You know what I like. You know who I am. But you are still cause all this mess. So I can't build, so I can't do what I need to do. So I don't put up with your mess. I don't put up with your mess. All year and all long. The Bible said that Nehemiah could not build because too much of rubbish. Now watch this. What is rubbish, you all? I'm going to tell you what rubbish is. I thank you for you to have said. See, rubbish is the breeze. Uh -huh. I done cleaned up all the mess. I done cleaned up all of this and cleaned up all of that. But, but rubbish, 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 R-U-B-B-I-S-H, rubbish. 
rubbish, rubbish is that there's a lot of debris from the building still on the ground. I got a lot of concrete. I got a lot of rock. I got a lot of dirt. I got a lot of stuff all over the physical building that I need to build up. Now I can use, uh -huh, I can use the bricks and mortar, but I can't use broken bricks to build the wall. This is a wall that is going to complete me. This is a wall that's going to fortify me. This is a wall that when people lie on me, it's going to protect me. This is a wall when people come to put their hands on me. And God don't want me to fight, but he wants me to hold my peace. God don't want me to use my gun, but he wants me to hold my This is a wall. What wall are you talking about, God? The Nehemiah wall. The wall that Nehemiah understood that this wall will protect the people from the enemy. Uh -huh. The Bible furthermore says, watch this, over there in Nehemiah 4 and 18, Oh, excuse me, 4 and 17. It says, they that which build on the wall and they that bear the burdens with those that labor, everyone with one of his hands, they want a weapon. And with the other hand, they held a weapon, but they held the work of the wall. What do they mean? As Nehemiah, song. You know why? Because the rubbish is too much. The Bible said the rubbish was so much that they couldn't build. Brother Devon said, but while I'm building, I'm going to be like Nehemiah. Build. I don't need your help, God, other than to help you build. Give me strength. I don't need you to touch my enemy. Because I got a weapon in my hand, and I'm going to build. But I got a weapon in my hand, whether it's a physical weapon or whether it's a spiritual weapon. But in the Bible, he had a natural weapon. Come on, cameraman, walk with me. He had a natural weapon. I don't tell my kids, you better not go to that school knowing that my kids are going to get suspended. I'm not going to tell my children, when you get to that school, I want you to listen to me. Mommy wants you to be on your best behavior. If somebody hits you, you better go and tell the teacher. If somebody hits you, because you're going to get suspended, you're going to get five days suspension, Lance. So when you get to school, you better be good. Because if you don't be good, mommy going to whoop you. Y'all do tell y'all children that. You 
You better be good and listen to that teacher. How many of y'all be telling them your child to listen to that teacher? How many? Y'all tell y'all children, I want to see y'all hands. I don't want to see no head. How many of y'all tell y'all children to be, okay, you tell y'all children to be good, you the main one I'm talking about. Show them. How you going to tell the child to listen to the teacher and be good, but there's somebody aggravating the hell out of them? Well, baby, long as they don't touch you, long as they don't touch you, but guess what? You got rubbish. You got rubbish. You old big head. That's why your mammy fat. That's why you look ugly. Look at your shoes. They ain't no real Jordans. I ain't even know that you can have fake Jordans. Anybody seen fake Jordans? Because I ain't never seen no fake Jordans. Me? Uh, Walmart got fake Jordans. It got Jordan sign on it. And it say Air Jordan. Hmm? That's Shaq. Well, they have a style of Jordan. That's Shaq. They don't have Jordan. I'm telling you that now. Because I said that and I reported it and they showed me that is not a Jordan. They showed me in their book who it's, that is. Yeah, it ain't a Jordan. No, it's not even an imitation of a Jordan because if you sell an imitation of a Jordan corporation like that, you would get sued. Now that what was told to me to, from the operation manager. I'm not talking about I'm not talking about I'm getting ready to Right. I'm um Mr. Christine, hold on. Give me five minutes. I'm not talking about uh trust me. Uh go to the manager and deal with the manager. Don't deal about what you think. Because that's where a lot of us get in trouble by what we think. We think that. Or we are asked a worker and guess what? Ten out of ten, a worker be like, I don't know, but it do look like a uh a fake imitation of Jordan, mm -hmm. like a like so a style. That I brought, they um, imitated them to the T. But did they say Air Jordan on there? I don't know. I just see. I, I looked at a couple of sneakers and thought they were Jordan. And if they did not have Air Jordan, that's not an imitation of Jordan. Mm -hmm. An imitation of Jordan would actually be Air Jordan on there, or it would be Jordan and the name Jordans, J O R D A N S. It would be the name. The reason why I'm saying what I'm saying, I'm not one that I look at a, a style and I bought this because it looked like a Jordan. It smiled like a Jordan. It got to have the name of a Jordan on it for me to buy it. I'm not going to buy something that looks a pretending. Five minutes, Christina. I'm on four minutes. Listen, not only am I if, if, that I don't do that because you have to understand who you're dealing with. When you're dealing with me, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do research. I'm a type of person. I'm gonna find it out, and I'm not gonna deal with face value. Face value is a store manager. I ain't I ain't going by your word. I'm going to the highest that I can go, and that's the CEO. I mean a COO. A CEO you'll touch before you touch a CFO or either a CEO. And I've already done talk because of Kim. I went up a little higher. Prophet of Shan, she was higher than Kim. I almost had all of Walmart uh, management in, in the church. And I, I was like, wow, you know. I'm not second guessing anything that what y'all saying. I want y'all to hear me and hear me what I am saying. An imitation is that it literally say Jordan, that it literally say the movement and the 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 emblem and everything. It even got the the tag in there to say Jordan or Air Jordan. That is a true imitation. Like some of these purses people walk around here that say Louis Vuitton, and they only spend sixty five dollars for a Louis. But guess what? It says Louis Vuitton. It says L uh, uh, V. It says Chanel. Literally. And the Chanel had the barcode in the inside. It literally says the name that it's imitating. Why am I saying what I'm saying? Because the son of perdition, the Antichrist, listen to me carefully. I'm going somewhere. Antichrist. See, a no name can't fool me. 
a no name I would never purchase because it's a no name. I would never buy it. It's a no name. I automatically know it's not an imitation of something. This is the way an antichrist is. This is in a church and people can fool them. And they say, well, I thought that this was it. Because Wait a minute. Did you see it in the Bible? Because when somebody gets displaying tithes and offering or or baptism or 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 on um, the Holy Ghost or the three different gods or or a uh, love and hate and forgiveness, baby, you gotta have this right here, and then you gotta read it towards what the Lord said. See what I just read you? I didn't read you no lie, because Nehemiah four and seventeen says. He had a weapon in his hand and he was working. Man, I know that had to been hard, Christina, to have a weapon in your hand and working. So when people tell me, you ain't God, you ain't saved, to have a knife or have a gun, baby, can be working on the walls of Jerusalem. But he had a weapon in his hand. Everybody that worked on that wall, they had a weapon in their hand. Can you imagine? You're a right hand person. So they had it in their left hand, but they was working. They was working. Everybody worked one hand. Guess how big that that Jericho wall was? 4,000 feet. Over 4,000. I think it was 4,012. 4,200, but I know it was at least 4,000 feet up. How can you work 4,000 feet up and you're working with one hand? Jesus. You're working one hand. You're working on an impossible situation because if you let go, Ooh. if you let go of that weapon mm. and you work it, because see me, I would have had three people working with both of their hands and uh-huh, but no, everyone had a weapon in their hand and they was working. That's why when somebody tell me wrong, Christina, tell me you supposed to be saved and you're not supposed to have a gun or a knife or, or, or pepper mace, I tell them, go straight to hell. You ain't your mama. Go straight to hell. You can't tell me what to do. And the reason why I tell somebody you ain't your mama, because 10 out of 10, that woman, I gave them some advice. Right now in this season, you better have a weapon. You go out to your car at night with not one of your children. And nowadays they'll attack you and your children. You better put a weapon if there ain't nothing but pepper mace. Come on. Let us stand to our feet. Father, in the name of Jesus, cut me off. Father, 